Instagram no, because I talk about it on Instagram. To be completely honest. That does not happen for me. We are not all created equally. I don't really think you understand why I struggle so much. Morning, good evening, good night, whatever time you are watching. Welcome back to my channel. I'm naturally Ray, or you can just call me Ray. Now, if you know you watch my videos back to back to back to back and have not subscribed, why not? Make sure you subscribe and of course hit your notification bell so you don't miss when I upload future vlogs and videos. And of course, follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore Ray. So guys, I'm gonna start off this video by just saying Happy New Year, we're in 2023, even though technically I'm taping this to the end of 2022, we just have a couple of days left, but I'm trusted and praying and hoping and believing that we've made it so it is 2023 by, your, by the time you all are watching this video. I have so many different things that I want to accomplish this year, different things I want to start that I'm excited for, different things I want to finish and complete this year. So yeah, but I really, really pray that you all have an awesome 2023. In spite of whatever may have happened in the past, last year, year before, year before that, I really do pray that God favors you. I pray for the overflow for you. I pray for blessings. I pray for just increases everything that you put your hands to will be prosperous successful y'all can maybe let me know so many things you're like excited for this year some of your goals all of that you want to achieve but yeah happy new year <laughs> i hope everything is going well for the new year thus far um i actually made a quick stop because i was out <laughs> i made a quick stop to price mart i literally picked up uh, i would say about six things so if this should be a really really quick haul and I also just want to go to West. Um, oh gosh, hold on. Was it in my place? I was gonna say West Mall because I want to go there, but I want to go to Dwellings, right? I want to go to Dwellings first. You all know I like going to Dwellings. Sometimes they have some of those really expensive <laughs> decor, but they are really nice. Like I think some of them are worth it. And I say thing because I. I honestly think that some of them are very very overpriced for no reason but I love going to Ellen's you all know I love going to Ellen's um, I go to the one in Price uh, well not Price Plaza is um I think that area because it's off of Price Plaza it's uh, what do you call that? You all know where it is in Shagonas right so I usually will go there I pass the one in Tom a couple times but I never went and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna go today and just check out what they have. I may not purchase anything. I'm just going to window shop. But obviously, if I see something that I like, some nice home decor, I will purchase it. And I'll, you know, I'll try to take it with me with my phone. Um, and then, since I'll be in the West, I said, mm, let me go to West Mall because y'all, listen, I do even think I had, um, I think when I, was editing that video a couple of weeks ago where I made my shrimp alfredo. I forgot to put like how good it really was. I just showed y'all. Listen, Instagram no, because I talk about it on Instagram, but y'all, that shrimp alfredo sauce that I picked up in peppercorn a couple of weeks ago and I made that shrimp alfredo was the bomb.com. I know I had mentioned to y'all, I wasn't too sure how my body would react, how my gut would react because I'm lactose intolerant, but I had no issues. I had enough of it to last for days and days and I had no problems, no issues, even though I really wasn't supposed to eat dairy and cheese and all that. Either way, why am I whispering? <laughs> Either way, it tastes so good and I think I might pick it up again. And then I decided, you know, y'all already know, like I mentioned in one of my other videos as well, I have already started back, so I didn't wait for the whole new year, new me to start back on my weight loss journey, so I've already started back, and Peppercorn tends to have some of the more, well, in some of the cases, they have like really healthier options, so I said I will check them out and see if it's not too pricey, I'll get some stuff from them as well, and I need to get a new fragrance. <laughs> 
I actually was thinking about buying it um, in the Christmas season and I was like, okay, Rianne, do you really need, need one now? Even though I wanted to build up my fragrance collection for a while, I just said, okay, mm, it's not a necessity, but then it started to run out, so I was like, I need a new one. So I'm going to Fifth Sensation. I think I got that name right. Fifth Sensation. Fifth Sense. I think so. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna go to them today and maybe Aldo because I want a nice shoe. Sometimes they have some really nice shoes and bags and different things. We'll see. Uh, I'll just walk around. I'll just walk around the mall. I'll take you with me wherever I go. You'll see whatever I purchase. Or when I come back, I'll show y'all. But yeah, listen. I love to ramble. Y'all know I love to ramble. I really came on camera just to show y'all just a couple of stuff that I just got from price month and then i'm heading out so i got this at random this granola you'll see i buy this all the time you're actually but i think by the time this video uploads it may only have maybe two or three other videos in between this but really and truly the two packs that i bought from when i uploaded that video have already finished because y'all know i love my granola i love my parfait so i got this and um i got some honey y'all i saw this in um in price match and i was like yes i have to get this i would have mentioned to y'all about the honey that i bought from food hall and i was supposed to go back food hall and i said i was going back i never made it clearly <laughs> but this is the same brand of honey that i got from food hall so love this and i think this is a local brand which i had mentioned before um i will try to put the prices up because i know sometimes you'll ask for these prices and then i say i put it and i don't put it and then i'll be like where the prices i will try and put the prices up so i got honey i also got this big thing i tied now the thing with this tied it is how much a hundred and oh it's right here a hundred a hundred and sixty it's the same it's the same right on both sides i don't think it's the same anyway it's a hundred and sixty eight and I bought like two smaller packs I would say is it a couple of months ago I think and they're like finishing I really love it and when it is day I bought that I was like Rian why have you really buy this expensive Tide but then from my first use I was like oh, I love this so much <laughs> and I still contemplated if when it's finished if I would purchase more but I saw it in price mat and I said, like, you know what, it might be better just to buy it, like in bulk, obviously. But I was going back and forth in my mind to get it clearly. I got it. So I got my tight pods and it's a lot. So hopefully this should last me a while. Let me rest this over here. And then, now I know this might seem kind of strange, but I also bought some breeze. The thing is, you may be wondering why I buy this baiting a breeze if I buy all of that tight pods. Still, to be honest, there are certain things I would definitely need to use, like the loose powdered soap for. So that's why I bought the breeze. I bought it for that. Um, and then I also got some dishwashing liquid. I think this is the first time. This is done. I think this is the first time that I bought. Is it, it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I'm not sure, but I think this is the first time that I bought like a big dishwashing liquid from Price Mart. Usually, I would just buy the smaller ones from like just the grocery, Massey, or Extra Foods. So I decided, you know, why not just buy that? And I also got these um, hand towels. I would have shown this in a vlog from I guess some months ago or weeks ago, depending on when I uploaded it and uh, these are one two three four five six of them i really love the quality of it i really liked it and i was like you know i use my hand towels very often i change it very often i should say so i just got some more to add to what i already have and then i got ugh, this organic apple juice i don't know what is organic well i guess the, if the apples are organic then it's organic apple juice anyway i got two of these for my smoothies um to be completely honest with y'all <laughs> yeah <laughs> the last time i bought the two of them for my smoothies i didn't really make much smoothies with it and like during the christmas season i end up just drinking apple juice it's just apple juice and i know i tell y'all i try not to buy different juices except the U juice which is the ginger turmeric lime 
I'm like a broken record because I, I always buy that. I always show you all. I love it. But um, but yeah, but I have my apple juice and I actually like I actually actually bought this apple juice to drink as a juice um, because I'm not going to make as much smoothies in the next couple of maybe six to eight weeks or so um just cutting down on some sugar which may seem kind of weird because i mean the apple juice obviously have some sugar but some of the other stuff that i add to it is even more sugar <laughs> so i might just cut down on that but um but yeah so that is that let me go let me go let me go i will take it with me the weather the weather have me kind of <laughs> it's in and out like now the sun is out it's shiny outside it's so nice and bright it literally rain stop rain stop rain stop at least four to five times for the morning so hopefully it doesn't rain and i have a really nice day there's one other place that i want to stop at yes i'm delaying to say but it's pennywise <laughs> but i have a list where's my phone oh it's on the side anyway I have a list and I think I only have either six or seven things on that list so and it's things that have run out from you know that I had from way back and now I decide to run out so I don't really need to explain to y'all but anyway I have to go to Pennywise so anyway let me catch up with y'all when it is I am on the road or when I reach the dwellings Well then, surprisingly, it actually did not take me that long. Um, it really did not have a lot of traffic, so I'm really happy. So I'm just looking around at the decor, seeing what they have. Um, if I get anything, obviously, I will show y'all. Dinner plate. Um, it's 120. I was thinking about picking up two, but ideally, I want a set. So I'll pick up one for now and I'll decide if I'll come back for more. Oh, they pulled up on their system this set, and this is what I want because if you look, it's a lot deeper and it has obviously a lot more in it because it's a set. Um, they're gonna check the brand future corner to see if they have it. If not, I don't know, I think I may not pick out one up because I really want to buy something that I want. To me, it kind of doesn't make sense just buying one. I'm back home and we're gonna do a kind of a collective haul for all the different places I went to. I actually forgot to mention to y'all when I picked up the stuff from Price Mart, I got some strawberries. I know, yes, but I mentioned that because I also got strawberries again in peppercorn. <laughs> but let me let me let me just put up my defense. <laughs> Number one. Um, I love it, which you all already know, and yes, it's expensive. The one in Price Man, though, was about, I think, like, $75 or $80, but I kid you not, I had to pick up and look through maybe about 10 of them, because the majority of them had rotten ones in it, and I don't ever buy strawberries, even if I see one rotten, because one will spoil the whole bunch. Anyway, uh, I finally found one where... The majority of it looked good actually all of it looked good but it looked like it's soft like it was ready to almost spoil and that's the one that i bought when i washed it and everything because it's in the, actually in the fridge now so when i washed it i realized that they actually were all good thank the lord i didn't have to throw away any but some of them were like really soft and like bruised so i know i have to use it out really really quickly saying all that to say <laughs> when i went to peppercorn 
I saw strawberries and I kid you not the first two I just had to pick up two and that was it they were so good and they were like huge wait hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on I'm talking about they were so good I see in one that looking hmm is that mold is that mold I don't think it is maybe it's just something on it anyway so I got strawberries again from peppercorn and yes they're a little more expensive but <laughs> i just needed to get it um and like i mentioned to you like i mentioned to you before this is the alfredo sauce that i absolutely love so pick this up as well y'all if i see something in the mouth i put in a ricola i think it's honey honey and lemon something something I just, you know, wanted to soothe my throat a little bit. So, that's that. This, y'all, I went to Massey today too. And I will show you all the stuff I picked up at Massey. <laughs> and I saw this at Massey for, I think, like about $5 less. Which I'm not surprised it was a little cheaper. The only thing though is like, the ma other Masseys that I go to, I don't really see this. Have I really been looking out for it? Not really, because I only discovered this existed in Peppercorn recently. But the one in what is called this west mall they definitely had a lot more because trust and believe i actually did check marcy in i think twin city and i think another marcy looking for it and i didn't see it so i definitely know west mall just have a little more stuff sometimes than in other places anyway moving on quickly i went to home i just always forget this place i know it's home home store home decor home store and i got this paper what do you call it wire clips now this for like when you open up um we just call this chips or different bags because i don't really buy chips per se um but different bags so i just got this i want to get yeah, six of them i was gonna buy the the clips that are like longer for like bigger bags but i was like hmm, i don't really think i would need it a lot of this stuff i dispense into my glass jars and sometimes i do have you know what i should have bought a bigger one because sometimes you know you have extra you just keep on the side you know when it is the can canisters full of the jars full hmm this should suffice if i need a bigger ones i'll just go back and get it um and i also got i'll just show you all this in my hand i got this salad bowl but this I am going to use as a salad bowl because I think it will be perfect for me because I want to start eating salads a lot more um, for the next couple of weeks. And I was like, oh, and they had sale. They had um, certain things like Christmas stuff for 50% sale off, which I always do. Um, they always do that every year after Christmas. And I think home home decor stuff will either 20% off or 10% off or something like that. So each one of them will a certain percentage off. And I decided to buy this. I saw somebody looking at it. Now, if you're following me for some time, y'all just look so real, eh? y'all. At least on camera. And listen, the way it looks here, it looks real. On camera, it looks real. But this is fake. <laughs> and honestly, guys, I really do love plants. Um, but I have problems. You all know I cannot keep them alive. Like I just can't keep them alive. I'm always over water. Like my main thing is I'm always over watering my plants. <laughs> and I remember uh, when I was showing you all this on Instagram like a couple months ago, my landlord had actually given me a snake plant, and he's like, "No, you cannot kill a snake plant. Just water it a little bit. You'll be fine." I think within a month that was dead. <laughs> anyway. So when I saw this, I remembered my snake plant and I was like, you know what? I may just have to stick with some four plants. Some of y'all on Instagram did recommend to me get some four plants. I'm like, no, I want a real deal. I should be able to take care of plants. How hard can it be? What need is sunlight <laughs> and water and to repot them whenever I have a whole set of planters and no plants i have a cactus the cactus is alive actually i killed two cacti already i know like how do you do that how i overwater them and of course cacti don't need a lot of water so the one that is alive i've been like looking at it looking at it looking at it hardly giving it any water i'm like you're gonna starve well not starve <laughs> but he's alive because i've been doing well that is literally the only plant i have now so i have to get some more plants anyway so that's that um, I also got a new fragrance 
when I got the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, I think that's the name of it. But you all would know when when I got that. Um, I would have shown you all that I think a couple of months ago. Uh, this was the other one from Chanel that I like. Um, it's chance. I'll take it out and show y'all. But I really liked the the scent that I got from this, and I said, okay, I'll get this one because the Mademoiselle one that I have is like all the way down to the bottom. I was like, okay, let me just get one for the new year. And I bought this in Fifth Sensation. It was fourteen hundred, and the guy who was helping me out, he uh, he gave me some other fragrances to smell. I was like. Okay, I definitely will be coming back for some more soon, but just not now. <laughs> but yeah, so I love that. And as you may have seen, I may have put in this clip when I went to Aldo because they have some really nice shoes and bags and accessories. And there was like a nude shoe that I loved, I loved. Uh, but it didn't have my size. They had a size that was like, um, like a half a size smaller than what I usually wear. I was like, no, I really, really loved it. And then um, one of the guys there was like, you know, we do have a branch in Trinity. I'm like, what? So the new mall that opened up by Trinity, apparently they have a new aloe. So I was like, okay, check and see if they have it. Unfortunately, they ran out as well. But I'm happy to hear because I'll definitely be checking Aldo in Trinity because that's like closer to where I am instead of having to go into the West. Even though sometimes I really want to go into the West to go in some of these stores because they tend to have different varieties and all that anyway so i went to the wonderful world as well um i think i just got two things uh what is this oh no that was just something i like sticking there <laughs> i got lashes listen i am really 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 considering getting um wait i think it's eyelash extensions i'm hoping i'm saying that right but in the meantime, <laughs> I got this one. I don't think I see this brand in Pennywise, but I love the fact that the band on this, they said it is a invisible band. And I think that's better for me because, especially since I find it so challenging to put this on, I don't really like how the band looks when I put it on. And I guess it's because maybe I put it on wrong. I don't know. So I think this should help me out for it to look a little more realistic. This was 40. And I just saw some really cute shades. Uh, let me just show you all. Yeah. I think these were like $40 too. Let me see. Oh, $45. I just thought it was so cute like I don't want to put it on now because I didn't wipe these down but this is what it looks like it has this pattern right here if you all can see that there and I like the tint on it as well so that so I thought it was really cute and that is what I got there y'all I honestly after because <laughs> I did groceries last but after that, I was like, you know what? I want to come home. I did not go to Pennywise. <laughs> so I said, you know, I'll go to Pennywise another day. And what I decided to do is go to Pennywise in Price, uh, Price Plaza because Dwellings is close to that location in Shogunas. Um, I don't know if I update you all when I just I showed you all the the dinner set or the cookware set you all would know if I, I more than likely would have shown you earlier they had it they have it in stock they have it in the what do you call it the hardware it's the hardware they have it um in display on display at Shogunas but they don't have any in stock so I decided I will go and check out home oh not home dwellings <laughs> And see what it is like in person ideally I do want a white set like what I have now like one or two things from the set broke like and then even some of my glassware broke as well so I'm thinking about just getting a whole new set we'll see so when I go to Pennywise and then go say penis <laughs> when I go to Pennywise I'll check out home not home oh dwellings and wherever else i'll just add it into this vlog when i go there another day so let me just show you what i got like most of it is 
most of it are fruits and veggies which i'm more than like they should have gotten at a market so it's a bit cheaper but i needed to start making the salads from now po -po. <laughs> but anyway um tomato clearly i'm tired this is not tomatoes apples <laughs> I got this huge bag of apples to be honest I don't even know the price of this but apples and I got some bananas which one of them I squashed I think um I usually buy the huge I think it's gallon is it a five gallon the huge five gallon um, blue waters bottle and that fell on one of my bananas I wonder if I could salvage it and still add it to my puppy and just eat it now mm. anyway so bananas i got some an avocado <laughs> not some i got some sweet peppers so an orange one and a red one uh i feel proceeding by the green well you know that there are benefits to the colors in certain things because they have I was going to say lycopene, right? I don't know where that word come out from. I could be correct. <laughs> but like the red will have certain things that are beneficial for your health. The orange color have certain things beneficial for your health, green, etc. That's why they do advise that you eat the rainbow because literally when you eat green, red, purple, orange, what other color? Yellow. Did I say yellow? All those other colors, everything in those colors. It's just amazing how God, he really does make things. Anyway, so that went over a tangent there. So, spinach, I got two of these. Lettuce, got two of these. Sardines, <laughs> got one, two, three, four, five of these. I'm just going to try and make this really, really quickly. Black beans. Um, usually if you see me buying black beans, it's for a burrito bowl and more than likely, I might just maybe add it to my salads. Would I? Well, yeah, I might make a burrito bowl, yeah. And then corn, uh, I actually like the other corn. What is the one? One second. The one that I usually buy is this one here, um, from Eve. I think one of the reasons I started buying this a lot more because it's easier to open it there but I have an awesome can opener that I got from Dwellin so it doesn't matter that I have this let me just put this back here in the card and I think that is it I think I think I think I think oh and eggs I got a dozen two dozen eggs so 24 eggs and that is it guys so the next time y'all see me will more than likely be when I'm at the new mall in Trin City, maybe at Dwellings, maybe in wherever. Y'all will see me later. Hello and good morning. So it's actually a couple days since I pulled out my camera since y'all last saw me. But I just decided to pop in to give you a little update. To be honest, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> but I um I would have shown y'all I think the last time I pulled out my camera I would have shown you all these lashes that I bought and I talk about this so much in like my blogs I talk about it in my stories on Instagram and I don't really think you all understand why I struggle so much with lashes like putting them on because I don't have any lashes wait let me not lie I have maybe about three millimeters of lashes this amount <laughs> and what happens it's literally it's not even straight it curls onto my eyelid so when i'm ready to actually put like a band on the band is sticking up on my actual lashes and it's just a hot mess <laughs> and the the ones that i showed you that i got the what is called that the invisible band that one is way better than the other ones that i usually buy from uh pennywise talking about pennywise that's where i'm going right now <laughs> but we'll talk about this now but anyway but i put it on i mean i i actually do not like how it looks right now to be honest in the viewfinder like right right now it does not look horrible but i'm sure with all the blinking that i've blinked you'll have definitely seen how bad it is <laughs> and i just 
couldn't stress about it as like i just have to leave the house just the way it is but i'm happy that i actually um try to use it today i there's a technique that i realized that i can't possibly do to be honest i don't know if i will look because i have tried everything i've tried like the spoolie to get my actual very short eye what is it called i i lashes <laughs> to get my eyelashes off of my lid so that i can easily put the band on because some persons i really just watch them doing their makeup videos and all they have to do is just hold a lash and then just, just do that boop, and it just stick and i'm like that does not happen for me we are not all created equally i really have to remove my eye, my eyelashes away and it's a struggle let me be very transparent with you all it's not the first time I did it today, but I had to cut more. <laughs> it's so bad that today, on both sides, I think I, this side, yeah, this side I cut more. When I put the actual band on, the lashes on, like my eyelash was so hooked up on it and like over it. I just took a scissors, like, cause I have, you know, those mini scissors and I just had to cut it because I did it over and over and over again. It just was not working. Anyway, that's just my ramble with lashes. At this point, if you all can leave in the comments or I'll maybe put it up on Instagram too. I really need to find someone who can do these lash extensions for me. But I have to, I want somebody really, really good because in all honesty, with how I work, I really need to be able to see properly with proper position, precision. And I don't want anything on my eye that's going to feel like heavy or I want it to be very lightweight like feel as though it's not there so i'll be able to properly concentrate and see what i'm doing for work if you know you know but um but yeah so that's my update with my lashes i'm heading to pennywise now i'll maybe check pennywise and see if they have those um what's the what's it what's the in, invisible band i've never seen it before but i never really tr try to look it and then i also want to go to balance i would have told you all i think the last time i pulled out the camera I would have mentioned to you all about the um the set the dinner set that's what's called it anyway i would have mentioned that to you all i'm going to the dwellings in shogonas maybe see what it actually looks like because they said it should be on display but they may have in their i guess warehouse where they may bring it to them i don't know we'll see and then i don't know i don't really want to be on the road too too much today because just like christmas time we're close to new year's and you know everybody up and about trying to get this trying to get that so i know we might have a lot of cars a lot of like hustling and bustling and i am really not up for that so yeah it really might just be a kind of in and out scenes oh and i just need to pick up um one of the things from the grocery like some fruits and vegetables that um I already start using out <laughs> so i want to get some more bananas and something else i know bananas for sure because i want that for my parfaits and smoothies and yeah so i'll catch up with you all when i'm out Display. The two are display. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, thanks. All right, so the dwellings here in Heartland Plaza, they actually have the um the set, and I really like it. It's not like completely white, but even I don't know if I can show you all the sides here. It's like definitely deeper, and then the details here. I like these details right here. So. I don't know. They have two on display. This one and this one. But I think they said in the warehouse they should have. So I guess I'll have to come back. So you all know I had to make it to the candle section. And I'm looking for my winter white. It's in this particular brand here. The stone. What is this? Stone wall. But I don't know if to me that may be out of stock because I'm not seeing it. This was the one that I picked up the last time, the honey vanilla, which was nice, but it's just not the same as the winter white. But I am on the hunt for another candle, so 
I'll maybe see if I like any that is here. So I was looking at the candles and one of the guys actually told me that this scent, I think this is the eucalyptus, it's a diffuser. They said that this candle sells out the most, but because they don't have a candle, this is the diffuser here. He told me to come into the bathroom <laughs> to smell it, but it smells nice. Hey guys, <laughs> but yeah, it smells nice in here. Um, not so much into diffusers, I really don't want a candle, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm back home and first up is dwellings and when I tell you all God is so good. He is so good <laughs> The thing is right it didn't even have a lot of traffic on the road it didn't have a lot of people because I was thinking okay It's coming up to New Year's, but it was nowhere close to what the crowd was like um, For Christmas it was nowhere close to that So I reached down in Shibonas and like everything was in the same area Dwellings was in Heartland Plaza because I couldn't even remember the name <laughs> earlier and then with Price Plaza so I just went to a couple places and I got some stuff but yeah, I got the last dinnerware set and the thing is right I end up just passing through the whole dwellings while walking through looking at stuff because it took almost the whole time for one of the guys to come back and say well we don't have in stock here even though you have to on display and they will call to find out if they can get it from the warehouse but if they get it it might end up being um i guess maybe a week from now he said something like that so i was like okay okay let's come back and i was like well can you still check to see if you'll maybe have one in stock at this um branch and then he's like okay you go and check and i got the last one God is so good and I love it love it love it I think I was mentioning earlier that I really wanted like white but let me just show y'all let me just show y'all so it's the hair Ugh. okay this is huge so this is the set here it is very heavy but you got what four 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 so let me just show y'all i'm hoping that let's see oh wait the tape back everything all right give me a second all right so i took it out and it's a two-toned set so i'm going to try and come up as close as possible so that y'all can maybe see like the texture in it I don't know if it really shows on camera, but I absolutely love it so much. This bowl, let me see. The this is a six inch bowl, and then it has the same design on the bowl. Listen, y'all, I have been wanting to get these dinner plates for so long. I really love this. Um, this is the design of these, and just look at it. Oh my goodness, I don't know if the texture. It's coming across. Let me see if I angle it this way. Anyway, but this is it here. This one is this is a 10 inch. So it's a pretty, I guess, standard size plate. It's a good size plate. Love this. And then we have the side plates that are seven, seven and a half inches. So similar design like the others. Is it focusing though? I really want you all to see the design. Anyway, either way, it is beautiful. Dwellings was the first place that I went to, and when I purchased this, I felt like, okay, I don't need anything else for the rest of the day. I could go home now. <laughs> but I said, you know what? I'm really right in the area where Pennywise is. So I went to Pennywise, and I got one bag, one bag <laughs> of just some, I would say, kind of essentials. I'll just quickly show you all. Uh, I love exfoliating gloves. Well, y'all should know that by now. Uh, this was just a brand. I don't even know if it's a good brand, but we got two gloves. We got these, and they have two gloves. So there's a pink and a. Okay, is this cream or yellow? I think it might be yellow behind there. So I got these gloves, and I always tell y'all, at least on Instagram, I mention about these masks. These Neutrogena masks are so good i picked up two of these and i also got these um cotton pads from johnson and johnson i love 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 the way this um this works with my gani my cellar cleansing water to remove my makeup so i got that 
I also got some dry shampoo this particular brand i remember using this maybe two years ago when i had box braids and i was trying to see if i could use it and not wash my hair and i decided that i would try it again because i guess that expired even but most of the way but i decided to try this again because a lot of people talk about this brand and it wasn't bad it's just that i had mentioned to you all like in a previous vlog i just love the idea of not waiting very long to wash my hair like actually washing my hair i don't know how people do it by spending weeks and weeks and weeks without washing i cannot do it <laughs> and to be honest that's kind of one of the reasons why i kind of messed up my um well at least both of my protective hairstyles that i did a couple months not i think let me say months ago weeks ago because i needed to like wash my hair and then with the style that i have i'm sure if i wash it it's gonna get around full up it's not gonna be as neat but hello my hair needs to wash but i've only had this style in for one week or two weeks a very short two weeks i can't remember <laughs> but it's a very short time and i really plan on keeping it in this hairstyle in for at least a month at least maybe to the end of january i don't really know if i'll make it that far but in order to help me out i'm gonna see if this works because yeah we'll see um i also got this olive oil wrap set wrap set mousse uh because the same hairdresser that did my hair when it is she finished she just put some of this on my hair and just wrap it for a little while and you know it was nice but at the end of the day my hair was like freshly done so obviously everything will look really neat but she said i could try and look for it so it's this one here i don't know if any of y'all ever used this before y'all can let me know and what else what else I just decided to buy this jiggons. I've never bought I've bought jiggons before, which you all do, but I never bought this particular one, this hand cream one. I just decided to have this is a seven ounce lavender with essential oils. Yeah, I just decided to have this maybe in like a handbag, even though it's kind of big, like when I have like my bigger, bigger handbags, I decided just to have this here and i also got this yo i talked about this a couple times before this is so good this gani three in one serum is so 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 good expensive but good. let me show you what it looks like this is it here i tell you all when i got this in pr package i fell in love and yeah I bought it this will be my second or third time I think buying it I think I got that and I think it's just two more things just um, this elegant pro concealer in the shade fawn so this right here got that and I also got some nail glue for when I um I do my press on nails I got this one because I heard these are better to use than the actual nail glue that comes in the packaging. So yeah, that is it. And I passed the grocery. I just pick up some bananas, pick up some kiwi. Y'all, I will show y'all this. Kiwi tends to be expensive. Like, not as expensive as strawberry or very close to. But I saw these four for 20 23.99 like what and it's a similar size um to what i usually buy no i actually thought it was local but now that i'm looking here i'm seeing usa but i found that this was actually a good price and i bought two so i have eight for almost 50 dollars is that similar to what I no 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 this is cheaper but the real test is if it's sweet because i may have wasted 50 dollars if they're not sweet <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say wasted because more than likely I'll be using this in my yogurt parfait and I will have bananas and all these different things in it. Honey, my strawberries, my yogurt and everything kind of comes out sweet with the granola and everything. But either way, I'm going to make sure that they're sweet. If, I will let you all know. You will see it on my hair. Are they sweet or not? This is your answer. <laughs> I don't know. Is my ca camera coming in and out of focus? I don't know if it's focusing on other stuff or if it's focusing on my face. I don't know. 
anyways guys um i don't know how long this vlog might be um if this is the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching this will be my first vlog for 2023 um hope your year has started off well hope everything is going well if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up you know it really helps me when you all give thumbs up and youtube sees that videos get thumbs up it helps me with my with the algorithm for other people to see videos so if you like this video if you like other videos make sure and give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe follow me on instagram all of that good stuff turn in notification bell like turn on your notification bell so you don't miss when i upload my vlogs and videos and yeah just thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next one remember to keep safe and be safe bye guys so i forgot to give you all an update on the eyelashes yo let me tell you something i love these eyelashes i know i didn't put it on properly because i have issues with how my natural eyelashes curl and all of that i explained earlier but this invisible band it really helps to keep it lightweight for the entire day i did not feel as though i had lashes i know i had it on because it's obviously a little different but that thicker band that i used to buy i would never go back to that ever again <laughs> of course i'm still considering getting lash extensions which i am sure will even be way better at least be way better than this once it's done properly but yeah i i'm like loving it i actually love this if it is that i take a while to make a decision about the um lash extensions i will definitely go back to wonderful world and get these but yeah just thought i'll give you a lot of updates so later Oh, 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 oh,